Oh man, guys, see, that's the thing, that's why I'm single. Like, I've been single for a very long time, uh, my whole life. <laughs> but, I <think> it, <laughs> but I think that that's, I think it's because I say those kind of crazy things to me. Like, about my hair, again, I was out, a gentleman approached me, he said, uh, hey, so, 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 uh, Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. What's your question? I just want to know, like, why do you wear your hair like that? I said, oh, do you mean the way it grows out of my head? <laughs> he said, yeah, yeah, exactly. Why do you wear your hair like that? Because you're beautiful, but you'd be so much more beautiful if you wore your hair straight. Yeah. I really, I, this was a bold statement coming from a bald man, right? It was not bold, sir. Like, your hair left a long time ago and in a hurry. You shouldn't be talking about it. Like, you shouldn't be making hair comments when it's gone. It's gone. Uh, see, that's not, but that's the thing. I, don't, I think straight men have issues making compliments. It's like, it's a, it's a problem for them. Like, I, I love straight guys, but y'all's compliments are very low energy. Like, women, we take a long time. To, so we take effort to get ready, like makeup, we're sticking pencils in our face, you know, we're ripping stuff, tucking stuff, you know, flattening stuff, remixing stuff. Like, we're just a lot of, you know, you know switching tracks. And this is a bunch of switch tracks. A freaking, freaking remix. Like, I remix myself daily. And then all the straight man will come, do is come up to you and say, oh yeah, you look, uh, you look cute. You look pretty, nice, reliable. <laughs> so I had a used vehicle. I just a woman who took effort. But that's why I love my gay men. Like, just come it up for the gays, y'all. Just give it up for the gays. I do. I do. But that's what I love gay men because they do. They give the best compliments. They give the best. You laugh because you know, girl. I know you got a gay mood. She's like, she. to a gay club and have on a paper bag and the sexiest pair of red bottoms and they will just go off, right? Then you walk in and they be like, oh my god, yes, yeah. And I was, oh my god, oh my god, girl, you are giving me a look in that breath, honey, okay? Let me get out your way, okay? You go ahead and bed. You are so fun, girl. You are running away, girl. Girl, girl, girl. Yes, honey. Sit in that wall. My sister, I love gays too, because they're my family as well. My sister is a lesbian. Uh, but she's like a stud or masculine lesbian, so she's the one that pays for everything. So that's the, that's the difference. <laughs> you know, whichever, whichever lesbian pulls out the check, that's the man in the relationship, most definitely. Uh, but she has this issue. She's attracted to women that are like users. I mean, because I mean, even in the lesbian community, there's women who just use you for your money and stuff like that. And, and she called me, she said, I'm going to come out and visit you in a couple months, but do me a favor and like start scouting out some girls for me, you know? I like the girls with like, you know, the pretty eyes and like the long hair and the big booties and I'm like, so you want a racially ambiguous Kim Kardashian? Like, girl, do your own shopping, okay? Don't try to pre place a pre lesbian order from through me. Let's not do that. Can't do that. <laughs> Speaking of place of orders, I do have a day job as a restaurant server. A restaurant server. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. I bring you food, so you should clap. Yes. Yeah? Bring <laughs> you food. Clap. <laughs> you know, like, you'll be a restaurant server at that's at a fine dining oh, an LA restaurant or whatever that means. But I'll say whenever I come in there, I always have this magical ability. I, I have the ability to shock and amaze white people by correctly pronouncing menu items. It's amazing. I just, I had a gentleman come in the other day and he 
he said, uh, excuse me, young lady, uh, how, what is this radisho of the salad? What's radisho? I said, oh, sir, that's actually radicchio. It's a bitter green. He said, oh, wow, wow, look at you. You just know how to say everything on the menu, don't you? Just, you know how to say words and stuff. <laughs> Well, yes, sir, that's my job. You know, affirmative action doesn't absolve you of your job responsibilities. I still have to know how to take an order. Uh, but then he was going to give me a pop quiz on the menu. He's like, well, what's this word? I said, salad. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. I guess, I, guess it, I guess if you say so, I guess if you say so, it's that. And then he, he asked me, he said, uh, well, pronounce this chaise plate. I said, sir, do you mean? The cheese plate? Because, like, now you're just making stuff up. It's not real. And he's like, I guess it's cheese plate if you think so. I don't think so. You know, I don't even say so. Webster does, okay? You know that thing? Cheese and plate just became neighbors. They didn't form into make a new word. Okay, I'll end on this, guys. So if you're ever having a bad day, which they come about, please just do what I do and take a pregnancy test, okay? <laughs> Let it settle. Yeah, no, for real, take a pregnancy test because when it comes back negative, your days will look a whole lot brighter, right? I see some of the guys looking left down. What can I do? You can do the same thing. Just text the last girl you've had unprotected sex with and say, hey, can you send me the Monday sign? I just, it's been a rough week. It's been a rough week. Just want to make sure I'm going to be a father anytime soon. I'm not really at that place. All right, guys, I've been Chelsea Bro. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you so much.